Hi, this is Tapcat, and today I'd like to talk to you about weapon upgrades. Uh, let's start with the Ranger. The top priority for your Ranger's weapon should be a laser sight. This will help give him a better chance to get a critical hit and do more damage. Now, the basic way all upgrades work when they have a percentage bonus like this one does, the basic laser sight will add 5% to his chance, an advanced 10%, and the superior 15%. So let's say you had a 70% chance to get a critical hit. The superior would now make it 85, 70 plus 15. And for rangers in particular, it's kind of all about getting the critical hit. At high level, you can have a ranger pump out about 19 damage when he gets a critical hit. And with rapid fire, it's 38. So you can do huge damage, but it's all about landing those crits. And laser sights are a key part of that. Now, I just mentioned rapid fire a moment ago. Granted, you don't get that until kernel, but I would say that to facilitate rapid fire, expanded magazine is my favored second upgrade for the Ranger. Now, if you can't get an expanded magazine early in the game, that's okay. You know, you can give him something else. I wouldn't really recommend a stock because a stock only helps you when you miss and rangers won't miss often because they get in so close and they generally have a good chance to hit. Uh, but something like hair trigger is fine as a filler, you know, a placeholder. Um, pretty much, in all honesty, almost anything is okay. But ultimately, you're trying to get to expanded magazine. Because that way, when you're using rapid fire and you're burning through two ammo every turn, you don't have to stop and reload every time you turn around. Now, if you're wondering why it might be difficult to get a spare expanded magazine for a ranger, well, the answer has a lot to do with these next two classes we're going to talk about, the grenadier and the sharpshooter, because they both need this pretty badly. Their weapons come with just three ammo slots. The expanded magazine will increase that. So if you get a basic, it'll only increase it by one, advanced two, and superior three. So you could go from three all the way up to six ammo before you have to reload. Now, aside from the obvious that just after taking a few shots, you would be out using the base gun, the other thing that comes into play here, for Grenadiers, they get a very useful ability called Quick Shot. And if you get a hit with your first shot using that ability, you'll actually take a second bonus shot. That's great, but obviously you're using up more ammo. Uh, sharpshooters also have the disability that if they reload as their first action, they can't even shoot their rifle that turn. So minimizing how often you need to reload is very helpful for them. Now, by the way, if you can't even get enough expanded magazines to feed both your grenadier and your sharpshooter, I would give it to the grenadiers first particularly if your sharpshooter is a gunslinger, because then they can use the autoloader as a reasonable substitute. Autoloaders will give you uh, a limited number of free reloads each mission. And again, it works the same way. Basic, your first reload is free, advanced two, and superior three. Uh, why do I say that it's really only good for gunslingers? Because primarily, if you have a long range sniper with kill zone, that small magazine is kind of a killer. You want kill zone to be able to fire off at as many enemies as possible, and you're crippling it if you don't have an expanded magazine. All right, enough on expanded magazines. What else should these two classes take? A scope. Uh, both of them will typically be firing at some range and they will not necessarily have a great chance to hit. 
with your sharpshooter, if you're able to position them where they get some elevation, they'll get an aim bonus for that and that'll help. Uh, but a scope should get you at or at least close to 100% more often than not. Grenadiers will often not have the benefit of elevation and you're trying to get them decent shots. Scopes help with that. And when you get to a quick shot, that carries a 15 aim penalty. So even a superior scope just evens that playing field because scopes again are 5, 10, and 15%. And by the way, just to illustrate how useful these things are, let's say your soldier has an 80% chance to hit its target. 80%, that's not bad, right? Uh, you're going to hit <laughs> four out of five times. But the bad news is that means you're going to miss one out of every five times. And unfortunately, the way XCOM works, is usually that will happen the one time you absolutely can't afford to have it happen. So anyway, going from 80% chance to hit to 90 means, excuse me, 95 if it's a superior scope, means that instead of having a 1 in 5 chance of missing, now it drops to 1 in 20 you have cut out a huge proportion of your misses and you can take that shot with a lot more confidence. And that leaves us with just the specialist. So if I had my way, I would put on the scope and expanded magazine for these specialists as well, simply because they have very high utility. You'll hit more often, you'll reload less often. Uh, but let's assume that you can't get enough to equip it on all these different soldiers. Fine. Then in place of a scope, I would use a stock. A stock will give you either one, two, or three bonus damage, depending on what level it is. And since you're more likely to miss, given that you don't have a scope, it will come in handy more often. Uh, this also makes your specialist very good at just mopping up any enemies that only have a couple of health. And honestly, I tend to use specialists in that role anyway, because they don't have the raw damage output that some of the other classes do. So a stock is not a bad fit for them if you can't get a scope. Now, the other thing that I've also used that I kind of liked was a repeater in place of the expanded magazine. Now, you have to understand, this is something that isn't necessarily of the highest tactical efficiency. A repeater gives you, depending on the level, 5, 10, or 15% chance to just instantly kill whatever you shoot at, regardless of the damage that you do. It's not reliable at all, and uh, the thing is, when it hits, it is pretty fun, and it can be a real lifesaver. So it just comes down to how you want to play. Just realize this isn't like the laser sight that we want to use for the Ranger, where that bonus stacks with other bonuses the Ranger gets to become reliable. This is just, you get a small chance to get an instant kill. Boom, done. So anyway, uh, scope and expanded magazine would be my real first picks. If not, have a little fun, go for stock and repeater. Now, as I've referred to numerous times, it can be hard to get enough of some of these key things like scopes and expanded magazines. So how can you affect that? How can you improve your chances? Step one, early in the game, when you build the Guerrilla Tactics School, go ahead and buy the Vulture Tactic as soon as you reasonably can. That will give you extra loot drops on missions, and that includes more weapon upgrades. The other thing that you can do is check with the black market about every month because they sell weapon upgrades. And as you, you know, keep checking back, you can often find these key upgrades that you're looking for. Now, if you got this far, I hope that this was helpful to you. If it was, 
please give this video a like. It'll help other people find it. And if you want more videos like this in the future, by all means, subscribe. That's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time.